New tonight, Duke Energy estimates there are 133 million tons of coal ash sitting in North Carolina. And as the utility company and state leaders battle it out over how Duke should dispose of it, concerns in our area continue to grow. Many residents around Lake Norman concerned the coal ash could be contaminating the drinking water, but they could be getting some answers starting this week. Residents can have their water tested for free. NBC Charlotte's Ashley Daly joins us now with the details. The free water testing begins this Wednesday and it's open to anyone who's on a private well, meaning you can't be on city water, but all you have to do is collect a sample and then bring it to a specific drop off location. Concerns over water quality around Duke Energy's coal ash basins are nothing new, but in recent years, those concerns have bubbled to the surface. Recently in Mooresville, you know, there was a cancer cluster identified, um, and we've also found out that there are you know, several um, structural landfills that are also made of coal ash that are unlined in Mooresville. And so it's gotten everyone a little concerned. Brandon Jones has a background in environmental and earth science and now serves as the Catawba River Keeper. I mean, if you have hexavalent chromium or selenium or arsenic, you know, that's going to increase your chance of illness, cancers and other illnesses down the road. So could contaminants from coal ash have seeped into the groundwater? Duke Energy says no. We have hundreds of test wells that circle our ash basins that prove neighbors drinking supplies are safe. But now to know for sure anyone on a private well has the opportunity to have their water tested. Starting Wednesday, you can stop by any one of four pickup locations to get a sampling bottle. All samples just need to be returned by Thursday, February 27th. Then the water will be tested by researchers at Virginia Tech and UNC Chapel Hill. These are generally pretty expensive tests, usually several hundred dollars. Um, so this is a really great opportunity. Researchers tell me the testing will take about four to six weeks, but they say once the results are in, they plan to hold a public meeting to discuss the community-wide results. Ashley Daly, NBC Charlotte.